Welcome to Pocket Tutorials. Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to learn a little bit about account settings in Canva. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and open a Canva account. Log in and click onto this profile picture over here. From here, you have this account settings option. Now you can see the first thing that you come over here, okay, it's your email ID, then you have your account. Over here, you have your profile pic. Secondly, if you want, you can go ahead and you can remove the profile pic or you can change the profile photo. Since I have already uploaded, I am able to see these two options. If you haven't uploaded yet, you will see an option of uploading a photo. Then you have the name over here, you can go easily go ahead and you can edit the same. You have email address, then for what are you using Canva for, since I'm using it for teaching purposes, uh, it will show me as a teacher. Secondly, the language is English and lastly, I use my Google Gmail account, okay, Gmail ID to log into it. Now, next that I do, do have over here is the theme, okay, you can go ahead and you can choose a light theme and a dark theme. But I choose a sync with system over here. You can have a look at the dark theme. It's it's nice, but I'll stick with my sync with system. Now next you have over your link opening. Okay, open links in desktop app. I am using the browser right now, so I can you know go ahead and open canva from any device if you are working on a windows desktop or you are working on mac you can easily go ahead and you can download the canva app and you can enable this option over here we'll definitely come back for these two options a little later next we have login and security over here you can go ahead and you can update your password over here security basically you know sign out from all devices if you are suspecting that somebody else is using your canva account okay you can easily go ahead and you can request also to download your canva uploads and designs over here and lastly if you wish to delete your canva account you can easily go ahead and delete it from here next we have email preferences now these are basically you know marketing emails you can easily go ahead and you can click on unsubscribe from all now basically this is all marketing emails sent by canva so if you do not want any emails from canva you can go ahead and you can click on this button over here but since i am teaching canva at the moment and i will be updating this course regularly so i need to know what are the canva news and what is the new and handy design tips in canva the trending templates okay create spotlight email recommendations so i have checked this all so I can go ahead and I can update this course on a regular basis. Lastly, we have people billing in teams purchase history. Purchase history basically will show you all the templates okay, that you have purchased or the designs that you have purchased from Canva itself. Next, you have people and billing in teams. These two options we'll definitely cover out when I'll show you how you can go ahead and you can make a team in Canva. So that is all for this lecture. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Congratulations on completing another lecture. If you do like this course, please leave a review. Helps us to improvise the course. Thank you so much.